You like my house? Oh. I say mine. It's yours, of course, but it's been such a part of me and me of it for a long, long time. And my children grew there, and my husband died, and those things tie you to a place. We can share. Oh, you're such a nice young woman. You're still a part of it. I felt that. The moment I walked in the door, I felt that the people who lived in that house really loved one another. It was home. And we had porch geraniums and supper every night at six. We're rebuilding the porch. Well, that's good news. Yes. <laughs> and I can't wait to use that porch swing. Did you put that there? Indeed, I did. Uh, My husband used to sit out there on summer nights and uh, keep an eye on the neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> and he would fool the mockingbirds. How did he do that? Well, Dan was a whistler. Now, he couldn't sing a lick. <laughs> And he could play no musical instrument, but, oh, he could whistle anything. Uh -huh. And it was finer than the finest flute you ever heard. He would call up a mockingbird, and he would lead him on just a few notes at a time. And then he would sweet talk him, and he would trick him, and, and that poor bird would just sing his heart. Hard out, <laughs> drunk from love. <laughs> <laughs> well, this summer, when we swing on the porch, we will think of him. He'd like that. You know, we spent some of our best times out on that porch. There was a sadness in the house, too, though. No life was ever lived without it. No life worth living. Mm. May May, I'm loving this. <laughs> But I better go make my rounds. Of course. Thank you, Simone. And you know, it looks to me like um, Dexter's working on another ear infection. Oh, I'll look in on him. And don't worry about me and Laura. We doing fine. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Ward, uh, May May, <laughs> I don't know where I am. I mean, I, I don't know what it is that you do here, because Simone wouldn't tell me. She said that I had to just see it for myself. So please tell me, who are all these children? These are my babies. All of them? Mm-hmm. About 14, 15 years ago, one of Dan's sister's children, uh, my great niece, Charlene, had two little girls. One was an infant, and one was about 18 months, mm -hmm. and she had lost her husband and had to go to work. Mm -hmm. And I had this house, and there was nobody in it except me. Mm -hmm. So I offered to mine both her babies for her. And shortly after that, one of my young friends from my church found herself in the same position. And so I took in her boy, too. Mm -hmm. Then. Dr. Phillips, my pastor, he brought me a three-day-old baby girl who had been abandoned on his front steps. And then I was just off and running. How many children do you have here now? At the moment, I have nine. I got five during the day, and then there are four whose home this is. And one I'm keeping until her mother gets herself together and finds herself some education mm -hmm. and a job. And I got one that's abandoned. And I got two infants who are HIV positive. Do they require special care? What they mainly need is what all babies need. They just need all the love in the world. And we do a lot of hand washing. And we do some extra scrubbing. But if you use your head, there's no danger in the infection spreading. Mm -hmm. A baby testing HIV positive does not necessarily have to have the virus. I didn't know that. A positive test just means that the baby has inherited the AIDS antibodies from its mother. But if we wait, for his immune system to develop, then we'll know whether or not he has contacted the virus, mm. you see. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you to meet my Charles. Well, 
He came to us 48 hours old, HIV positive. And last September, we had his second birthday party. And we just know he's one of the strong ones. He is strong as a horse. Oh, that <laughs> must have been some celebration. Wow. You better believe it. And look at him. He's adorable. Oh, he's a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> um, you must um, have help here. Well, we have the best volunteers. We've got the women from the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and then we've got my friends from the church, and... You should see this place around me all the time. <laughs> and Simone is our volunteer pediatrician. And let me tell you, we keep her hopping. <laughs> could I come? Oh, any time. Any time. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, my life is a little bit unsettled right now. You see, my son is in the hospital. But he's going to be fine. Please, God. <laughs> But um, he won't be able to go back to school for a few weeks. When he does, I'll have my afternoons free again. And then I would love to help here. I mean, on some kind of a regular basis. Do you always love so quickly? Yes. Well, no, I mean, oh. when it's important, I do. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it, honey. <laughs> Well, how old's your boy? He's ten. Oh, he's so beautiful. I, I just know he is. <laughs> so what's he doing in the hospital? Uh, well, my husband is... My husband was mugged and, um... Well, Lucky was with him and he got shot. Guns. Oh, yes. But he's gonna be all right. Yes, I think so. In fact, I just left them together. He was playing cards with his father, and he was cleaning Luke's clock. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him humble. That is not easy. <laughs> <sighs> Tell me, how do you pay for all this? Bradley Ward House gets, um, gets some funding from the city of Port Charles um, and the state. Mount Zion Church, and we have some private contributors, and we make do. <laughs> Who is Bradley Ward? My older son. He was a minister, and he was a state assemblyman. He's no longer alive? No. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You must have been so proud of him. I still am. And he grew up in your house. The growth chart. Come again? The growth chart. Oh, you don't you remember? Between the living room and the dining room, in the archway, there's a growth chart with the dates. Um, it's written in pencil on the woodwork. Bradley and Dave. It's hard to imagine it's still there. <laughs> oh, yes, and it will stay there. When I oiled the wood, I just kind of worked around it. Go look behind the cellar door. There's another one for my daughter, Edith. I'll look the minute I go home. Okay. Now, tell me, how did you find my house? <laughs>